Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today and it's gonna be a big one. I'm not splitting it up because my third video this week is gonna be a Valentine DIY, maybe a one St. Patrick's Day thing, we'll see. But first the coffee in my black cat mug. And today it's caramel coffee with a little bit of cocoa in it. Now, I do keto, not hot cocoa. It's actual unsweetened cocoa that I mix in with the cream. So it's sugar-free. Mm. And I use like a teaspoon, but it makes like a mocha. Oh, it's delicious. Okay. We'll put that in front of the fire. Ooh, in front of the fire. It'll keep it warm or not. Okay, I have a huge haul for you. No rhyme or reason, it was organized, now it's not, because it's a mess, but I just need to share. So I can put this stuff away and do some DIYs because I got my office clean. I know. Okay, wish list items right out the gate, boom. I have been looking for one of these, and I believe if I had to guess, it's a tea light holder or a votive, but I'm gonna put um, plant in it. So I grabbed a couple of those for that purpose. Finally, finally, I found these. Oh. Hi, Dubby. Dubby just came in and Alex is over here attacking a plastic bag. I finally found these. I grabbed a couple in the white, a couple in the black. I want them for my mantle and I want them for all the things. And I'm so excited that I finally found them and I almost broke it. Hey baby, did you want to say hi? Say hi. He said, no, I want to lay in your lap. So I grabbed those. Okay, now, I, I grabbed one of these. I will tell you what I use this for and it's fantastic. It's just a, what are they even calling it? A file organizer. I put my taxes in here. So next month, I will go see my tax lady. She will do my taxes for me. She gives them back to me all together and then I store them in a container like this with the year written on it and I put it in a bigger container and that just keeps them all together. So anything tax related for the year 2020, for all my taxes, city, state, school, local, county, it all will be in here. So that's a little tip for you. Um, I picked up some more of this yarn now when you see the tour of my office you're going to know immediately girl you don't need more yarn however this is crafting yarn the yarn that's in my upstairs craft room is knitting yarn it's wool it's very expensive it's not i'm not gluing and, and crafting with that and this is not bad yarn at all i'm gonna dare say this is better than red heart almost as good as karen i love this yarn i've been crafting with it for some time now so I grabbed these, I have a DIY coming up and I wanted those three colors. I, ooh, I should have got that other color for fall, but it's okay. Uh, St. Patrick's Day, I found the welcome sign. I love this. I love the cor uh, corrugated tin. I like it. I don't do a lot of uh, St. Patrick's Day decorating, but I'll put out a few things. I am Irish though. I think at least half, if I had to guess. I haven't done the DNA thing yet, but I definitely know my mom was 75% Irish. So I feel like that gives me a, I don't know, something. I wanted to show you something. This was the size of the Christmas tag sign, and this is the Valentine tag sign. Look how much larger. Now these are actually prepared to do crafts with, but I wanted to show you the size difference. So if you wanted to make some bigger signs, grab these Valentines. All I did was, and on this one, I didn't even scrape off the glitter. You can see it. I just spray paint the backs with a black spray paint. And then they're going to hang on the wall anyway. But if you wanted to cover this with fabric or paint or some, or um, paper, you would have a double-sided. But what I'm going to do won't, won't be able to do a double-sided. So I just spray the backs with some black that is black spray paint and then I work on the front side and that's just a personal preference you honestly don't have to do anything to the back but that's me um I 
found some more of these. The little color gnome sign that comes with a two pack. These are fun. And I will tell you, I did color a set and I used my own markers and they're adorable. So I found three more of those. I have a need for those in my life. I found these. These are going Sarah's Valentine little basket. And these are four chocolate and caramel hearts. And we all know that Russell Stover is a good brand. I will tell you when I was eating the chocolate, I was never a fan of the Palmer. Now I don't eat it, but when I did, I was never a fan of the Palmer. Um, I ended up grabbing, at the end of the day, I have four of these because I want to try to figure out how to make a topiary. These are the tomato cages. I want to figure out for Christmas next year how to make two topiaries from my front door using this and the Christmas garland as my base. So I'm going to be working on that this year. And so I needed two sets, one to practice on and one to make a video, if that makes sense. So I grabbed four of those. Those will go out in the garage. Um, I picked up a black one of these when I see them. Um, right now I have a black and white buffalo check one and they do launder fine, but I love these for, um, right now it's under my coffee pot. Wellington is getting in his bed behind me, but in the summertime, I like these to sit in my window and put plants on them in case there's overspill and the wood doesn't ruin my bay window. So these are great for all kinds of things, but those are a couple that I use them for. I found... The unicorn bags. Oh my God, is that adorable? I need to figure out something to do with these. I mean, they make fabulous little craft bags. What I would do if I was using them as a gift gifting bag is I would take a piece of like foam core and cut it to the size of the bottom and push it down in there so that it's a firm bottom. Because if not, it's these are pretty cheap. You're just gonna end up with the bottom falling out unless you put like a gnome in here or like a stuffy. But if not, you can just measure the bottom, this flat piece, and get a piece of cardboard or the foam core or even poster board and just cut it to fit and stick it down in there. And then it won't um, fall through the bottom. And it'll be able to hold little heavier things. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to use these for, but I saw them and said, um, you need those. Right? I grabbed the plant clips. These are great in the summertime with, especially if you're doing like tomatoes or a vining type plant, because these will clip around and hold them in place, but they're not gonna smush your plant. And it comes with three different sizes. And there's 20 pieces in here. So that's great. For $1 garage. I picked up. Everybody was hauling these. This is the first time I've seen them. And exactly what I'm using this for is feet to put on if I make pedestals or any type of a item that needs to be like, I like things risen. I'm going to cut this apart and use these for feet. So it's just some crafting material, more gardeny stuff. I'm sorry. What's your problem? Mama? No drama llama. It's just a metal spike. It's a llama, friends. This is going to go in my front yard. It's a llama that's prancing. Look at him, he's like leaping. It's a leaping llama. This is going in my garden. I say garden, I put plants on my front porch. Let's be honest, I don't have a garden. I mean, I'm not incapable of gardening. However, I'm just not gonna garden. I'll try to keep the Valentine stuff together. I picked up one more of these frames for a Valentine DIY that I'm going to be doing. So I've already showed you those. Oh, I found this. This is name brand. This is called an ugly doll. And I want to take it out, but I don't know how without breaking it apart. Oh wait, here we go. It's taped together. Anyway, this little guy looks like this. And they're for children and you could make it hanging on their backpack. I just thought he was adorable. He may sit on my desk. He might be, I'm going to punch you doll when I'm having a rough day. I wouldn't do that, but I wanted to show you Easter baskets, Valentine's for the little ones. I don't know if you do uh, that. This is Ice Bat to Go. Ice Bat a Importer. Oh, that's not English. <laughs> I think his name is Ice Bat, if I had to guess. I don't know. 
but I wanted to show you and that would be perfect for a little one who likes those things in an Easter basket. What are we doing back there, sir? Hi. He's been acting weird. I found these mechanical pencils. Look how pretty they are. And this is a name brand. This is Zebra. I buy their pens all the time. Um, I love these little pencils, especially for crafting. Um, the pencils that you have to sharpen are great, except for you then you need to find your pencil sharpener. So these are mechanical and they take a uh, number 2.7 millimeter lead. So I actually have lead, but I thought they were really pretty. And they had a couple other patterns, but I like these for crafting. This is a lot of crafting stuff, just so if we're all aware. I did find these little succulents. These are pretty heavy though. I'm not gonna lie, but they're a pretty thick rubber. Um, they'll end up in my tear tray, no doubt there. So I need to get a box going for just tear tray decor. Uh, but these will definitely be my spring tear tray. So if you get them, I love that they give you some vertical height or, you know, some horizontal take up space. So I grabbed two of those. Those will go in a greenery container. Oh, St. Patrick's Day, guys. I don't need more socks in my life. However, these are black cats. St. Pat, oh, you can't see. They're, they have black cats on them and they're all wearing hats. And these are the um, the thicker ones and what I would wear is like a house slipper. I put these on in the morning when I go into my office and they keep my feet warm. Um, I They're a little thick for my taste to wear in shoes. What are you doing, crazy? He's crazy over here. Gabby, what you doing? So I grabbed those black cats. Speaking of, come on, why don't you sit here with me? You're acting weird. There you go. Oh, I found some of this potpourri mix. I liked it because it has some big pieces in it, like this wicker ball. There's a big dried flower. Um, there's some larger items in here, which I like. I don't know. The smell is supposed to be lemon zest and thyme. I'm sure it has some fragrance to it, but honestly, I just like in the spring, I'll put this in a glass bowl and it just looks pretty. That's really all I got it for. I don't have any aspiration that I'm gonna be able to smell. I, mean, I can smell a little bit, but it's fine. It's for decor. I like those and when they're out for a dollar, that's perfect. I did buy another bo uh, Bolero body wash. This is watermelon agave. So fun fact, I used this in the shower this morning and it's fine. It's thick, which I do appreciate. However, it had some beads of sorts in it, like sand almost, like it was supposed to be abrasive which was weird and the thing I don't like it washed up great it was soapy it lathered it did all the things it's supposed to do except for you couldn't smell it once I poured once I put it on my um wash cloth with water I couldn't smell it anymore and it's fine I'll keep it I'll use it but I prefer Bath and Body Works for that reason because I like the way Bath and Body Works smells and in the mornings and the shower, smells are, make me happy. I love a smell good shampoo. I love a smell good body wash. It's just a personal preference. Um, I grabbed two more of these hearts. If you have seen my DIY that I did with the Dollar Tree, like the little foamy rose pet. I'm trying to feel that because it, I can see through this spot right here. Oh, it's on the back side. Um, yeah, I thought I would try something different. I did buy some craft paper and I have some craft paper. So I thought I would try something. So I just grabbed two more. These may or may not get done this year, but I like them and I didn't want to not have them for next year. These, these, this size and style is definitely new this year. So I grabbed two of those. Again, it goes in my crafting stash. I picked up two of these and they're not working for the original purpose that I got them for, but I will probably make like a riser or something or put a candle on it. But um, I had purchased from the Target Dollar Spot one of the, the tiered trays. It has like the wicker wrapped around it. And I was hoping that this would sit in the bottom and make it more of a flat, but it's just too big. It doesn't fit. It's the exact same size. So it sits on top. But again, I will, it'll go into my crafters box and something 
something will happen. I found some of the stationery. I love this. It's not the greatest price point, but it's cute. And I wanted to show you. Um, I got the pineapples. And these are blank cards. So you get two blank cards, four envelopes, and then I think four pieces of the matching stationery. It's cute for sure. Um, and I definitely feel like this would encourage young kids or young adults to get back into the habit of sending thank you notes. I think that'll be awesome, but you never know. However, I thought it was cute and I will use it when my giveaways maybe, when I send out those, which that video will go up independently on its own tomorrow. On Wednesday, I will announce the winners of the gnome giveaway and have you email me. So that's a separate thing. But I grab these, I buy thank you notes a lot, but I grab those. Um, I picked up two packs of these Gelosity pens, one for me, one for Sarah. That'll go on her Valentine, Easter Valentine box. And then I grabbed her two sets of these pens. Um, if you have, if you're a planner person, you like to write, you are like to decorate. I love these pens. I'm obsessed. So this little set she'll love because she's got a planner going and some bullet journaling. And I think these write really well for a dollar. You're not getting a better deal than these pens. So they're very, um, the color is very vibrant and the black writes really nice. So there's that. Yes, I'll just pick them up and put them back. So I got her a set and then I picked up just a couple more for myself because something like that typically doesn't stick around. I grabbed that for spring. It was just in the um, Crafter Square section, but I thought that was really pretty and I think it would look lovely on a spring wreath or something painted. I don't know, but I liked it and I didn't want to sleep on this because I feel like it's a fun and it's pretty decent. I mean, this is that MDF board, I think. So just grab that again. It'll go in my crafting box. And um, this is cute. I grabbed two of these for crafting purposes, not for keeping this. I'm going to be doing some crafting. But these little tiny roses are of the same material as the larger roses that I use. They're cute. I'll keep those. And this is sweet if you had a place for it. Um, but I wanted to do a DIY, so I bought these to deconstruct more crafting materials. I had one more of these. I remembered I got four of those. Um, I picked up a candle. It's super sweet. Definitely for spring Easter selection. Here's the deal. It's pink sugared macaroons. I couldn't read the fragrance before I left the store. So here's the deal. Ugh. It's not the candle, it's me. It's very, there's a good scent, a strong scent. I don't like candles that smell like food, like cookies, cakes, oh, it makes me nauseous. So I can pretty much 100% guarantee you this will be gifted or it will just sit there and look pretty because just smelling it made me nauseous. I know, but it's me, it's not the candle. The candle is perfectly fine. I know better than to buy sugar cookie, gingerbread, cake, any of that. My worst nightmare was when Betty Crocker came out with a line of candles and I walked down that aisle and thought I was going to die. Oh, and it's me. It's something. It just makes me nauseous. So, but it's beautiful. So it definitely will get sat out and pretty. It just will not get burned here. They came back out with these and I picked this up. These are the... Um, they're decorative lids for mason jars. This is a, it's called a frog. So you would put um, this on top of a jar and then you could put your flowers through these holes and it kind of helps everything stay spread out. For excuse this. So I grabbed this set. They had several other ones, ones you could hang and make like a lantern. But I think for spring, I think this will be fantastic. And I love putting mason jars out in my house. So um, I grabbed a set of those to do and then put some pretty spring floral. That's what I got that for, for me. And I picked up a set of these stamps for really no other reason than there's a gnome stamp in here and there's a red truck. Um, the little gnome is down here at the bottom. You can see it's that purple one. 
I don't know if I have anything to, I guess I could stamp it on the back. So let's see if they even work. Um, just because I'm gnome obsessed. And I think we've all figured that out at this point, right? And I'm not the only one, right? I mean, maybe. So that's what the gnome is supposed to look like. There you go. So I'm gonna stick it on the back of this package and let us see. Or not. Um, oh, it works. I'm not sure you're gonna be able to see it, it's tiny. And honestly, this is just not the right material to be stamping on, but that's cute and it's purple. Yeah, I definitely think that'll be great on actual paper. And, oh, they would be great on, like, envelopes and stuff. So I'll keep those. Um, I found these just in the, um, with the, you know, socks and stuff. And they're just bandanas. And they're pretty thin bandanas for, to boot. Um, Christmas time or anytime, really. Winter. I love this pattern. So I grabbed two. Um, again, it just goes into like a sewing bin that will go into a fabric dresser to have on hand. I don't have any specific for that. Um, I grabbed this card probably for Sarah. And I do get questions if she watches sometimes, but none of the stuff that I'm showing you is something I wouldn't want her to, I mean, she can see it, it doesn't matter. Um, but I actually bought two of these cards because I want to deconstruct and make a pattern of this coffee mug because I love it and I would love to do it for different seasons. So, and then make my own. So I grabbed one card, it's very, just says hugs and kisses, happy Valentine's Day, love you a latte. So I grabbed two of that card, one to gift and one to deconstruct and craft. I need you to be sitting down and I know I'm not the first one to show these, but I don't care, I don't care. Uh, shenanigans with my nomies, what? And I, I will tell you, I don't like this fabric. It's that microfiber, I can't stand touching it. It reminds me of when I was a kid and my mom got us pajamas in this fabric. Oh, I hated it then and I hate it now, but I'm sorry, what? So I wouldn't use it to like clean with. This is strictly to decorate. I'll hang it on my stove for St. Patrick's Day. Oh my gosh, right? So that's probably everything I would put out for St. Patrick's Day, maybe a DIY, like I said, I have coming up. I don't do a lot of decorating for that specific holiday. I grabbed two more of these. And if you want to do a DIY with me for 4th of July, grab some. At least three, maybe four. But I'm going to take these apart, paint them, and do a DIY for 4th of July. So I wanted four of them. So I grabbed two more. So now I have four. And it doesn't have to be just 4th of July. Memorial Day, Labor Day, any type of summer that you do a more patriotic, um, decorations for like I could put this up at the beginning of summer for Memorial Weekend and leave it out but I love it so I grabbed two more while I saw them because you know when they're gone they're gone all right Valentine's Day de decorating stuff I grabbed one of these a it's adorable B, B I'm taking it apart and we'll do a DIY I think if it works you will see it and then I picked up, I feel like I have more. I just don't know where they are. Let me grab them real quick. Yeah, I do. So I grabbed some more tissue paper. I love this stuff. It's so pretty. It's great for um, decorating and mailing packages and you get six fold sheets. So I grabbed that. And then I picked up some stickers. Um, again, for a DIY, these are conversation heart stickers, which I think I love. They're totes adorbs. And who doesn't love a conversation heart? At least to look at. Like, to me, this is the epitome of my childhood Valentine's days. It was a lot of conversation hearts and chocolate. And I loved them, so I was okay with that. And then I grabbed the felt ones that just comes with multiple sizes. Again, no specific craft for that and then these are table scatter so if you're going to use these so these two I'm sorry are stickers these is table scatter so if you're going to use these you need to hot glue them to something which is fine they're just a little thinner but they're glittery and I like that a lot so I picked those up 
um, you know, just to have. I'm running low on, or I don't have a lot of the Valentine decor stuff or DIY stuff. Um, I really loved this. This is new this year, and I really enjoyed this design. Like, I think I just want to stain them or seal them, not even stain them, and hang them. I love this, the raw wood. I love the earthiness of it, and I am enjoying that. And with this one, it is a bonus, so you get eight pieces of that. And then for, um, duh, their cupcakes, or whatever. I am putting one in my planner, and more just to have in my, my Valentine's. I went, so when I did my cleaning, I went through and purged a lot of my seasonal stuff. And I needed some like, just little dip add-ons. Like, I'm gonna make something, but here's a cupcake to make it even more cute, that kind of thing. Or for letters, packages, things of that nature. Um, I have picked up two of these. I love these for decorating. The goal is to get this off, like get your sticker off. And then this is just a blank. It's, to me, this is like a canvas of decor. There's a hundred million things you can do with these to make any season. And they burn for like ever, ever. They burn a long time, which I love. I love burning candles in my house. Typically, I'll have a candle burning that has a scent to it, but that does not, which you can add essential oil. But I usually have other candles burning. That's more for look. Um, I found, and this will go into Sarah's pro, uh, gift too, the face makeup vanishing towels. Pookie's View just did a review and she said it was very equivalent to her face eraser. So I picked up one for myself and this is what the size is. Now she says you need to wash them first so they don't stain and girl wears some makeup. So I can see that she knows what she's talking about. So I will wash this. It feels so soft. I have another one I got at Target and it works. And she said these work. This Dollar Tree one also works. So I'm excited because I do wear some makeup on occasion and I don't, I'm very sensitive and I don't like using harsh chemicals to get it off my face. And this, you just use water. And if you've got a young, or an, anybody really, but you know, like, ooh, sorry, a teen or, or higher girl that likes to wear makeup I would say two because you want to be able to wash them so a couple of these in a gift with a gift card would be fun and a really appropriate Valentine's Day gift because they're pink so like I said I have a couple so I just grabbed one for myself so I could open it up and show you and try it and two for her but I took Pookie's review to heart right okay now, oh, ooh, this was a wish list item. I finally found the Scrub It. Um, I grabbed three, yellow, orange, and green, the three colors they come in. Odor-resistant, non-scratch scrubber. Soft in warm water, firm in cold water. And we're gonna try these out, but I wanted some for my bathroom upstairs and kitchen downstairs. So I grabbed three, we're gonna see how these work. The reviews I've been hearing are really well received. Do these really work? So I'm excited to try them. And if I like them, I, mean, I don't know that I need more than three. I'm just saying, but maybe. We'll see how they hold up, that's the thing. Like I go through sponges because I don't like to keep them around all so long. Um, for DIY purposes, I grabbed these, I do not like this with the Happy Valentine's Day. First of all, it's blurry. It's not burned on there, I don't think. It looks like it's ink printed on there and it's not done well. However, the back is blank. And I'm, you're not gonna see any of this with the DIY that I have in mind with these. So I'm not concerned about what's on the front. I just wanted the shape. And this is also an eight pack, which is a nice deal, by the way. I found the eucalyptus. I grabbed two to make one wreath because you know this is going to be pretty sparse. And I'm not making a wreath. I'm sorry. I'm putting this in my tiered tray for spring. I'm going to, you know, like wind it around the tiered tray. So I wanted to have two just in case. Although one sh could be enough. This is also 
designed design it simply style this is not a dollar tree brand this is flora craft made in lettington michigan but it's the eucalyptus which i like for spring so i grabbed two to decorate my tiered tray and then for um oh not you yet some spring DIYing. I have got some of this reindeer moss. You want to really get, oh, this is floral moss. I like the bright green, but what I will do is go outside first and foremost with a shoe box and I will cut this and cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it to almost make it like glitter. And then I will glue it upon things because if you try to work with it like this, it's a mess. It's fun, but it's a mess. And I never found the moss bunnies, but I can cover my other bunnies try to cover the other ones in that. So I grabbed that. The reindeer moss is well good as well. I grabbed one more of these. This is the other diamond um, Valentine's Day, which is not with the Valentine's Day stuff in my stores. It was at with the hair and nail stuff, but I know it's for their Valentine's because it's marketed that way and the color scheme is perfect. But I grabbed one more pack of those. A um, couple things and we're done. I grabbed, just for crafting purposes, I want to try this Elmer's Disappearing Purple Spray Adhesive Permanent Bond Multipurpose Dries Clear. I just wanted to try it on some stuff. Um, for St. Patty's Day, I did grab one of these, although this is cheap, if you just saw that. But I grabbed one of these um, to do a DIY. It probably will be with my Valentine's DIY. Um... So, and I'm going to try to get that out this week so that if you want to, if you too want to make this, you can. So I grabbed that and then I grabbed to go with it just some of this um, shamrock. They had several different colors. I like the lighter green with a little bit of gold on it. And I only grabbed one because I'm just going to kind of rip it apart and use it with my DIY here, right? That's what you do. You rip up, everything gets ripped apart. And then the last, last, yes, the last thing I have, which I am so excited about, this is a Korean brand of cleansing bubble pads with willow bark and white tea. Um, made in Korea. The Korean beauty products are really hot right now. I'm going to open this one. I, of course, grabbed two, one for me, one for Sarah. Um, I love the packaging. I love the color. It's a, like a little milk carton, but this is what it looks like on the inside. And it's, um, so the little pads are impregnated, <laughs> are impregnated with, um, yep, yeah, some cleaning product. So you take it out. One side is soft. One side has a little more abrasiveness to it. You hold it between your two. You run it under the water. So if you need a little more cleaning, then, you know, take your makeup off and then use one of these to cleanse your face. This is not something I particularly would use daily, but if you have a different skin type, you can. Um, it says suitable for daily use, and I think it's spot on with the packaging. And this would be, again, adorable for anybody in your life, but especially um, if you've got somebody that's, you know, into beauty care and all of that. Because I'm just trying to put this box back together. I like it. Ah, there we go. Here, I pulled out my product. I love this. And if I can find some more, I sure as heck will. Um, yeah, so that's it. That's everything for my Dollar Tree haul this week. I went to four different stores and I think I did pretty good. Now, obviously things will slow down soon. It's season change and this is how it works, but I gotta bring it to you when I find it. All right, guys, you have a good one and I will talk with you later.